There are many things you could do with a table, and three of them would be to find the modal class, to estimate the mean, and to estimate the median using interpolation. Just quickly, how would we find the modal class? Well, modal, just like the word mode, means the most common or the most popular. So in this question about students running 400 meters, which time was the most popular? Which one was the most frequent? Which had the biggest frequency? It would be the class 4850, because there were 15 students who took that long. So the answer would be 4850. Notice the answer is not 15, because they're not looking for the frequency, they're looking for the class. Second, how would we estimate the mean time to run 400 meters? Well, these eight students, for example, we don't know if they took 45 seconds or 47, so we just pick the midpoint. So we would do 46 times by 8 to get their times. We do 49 times by 15, etc., to get these times. Then, after we've done that, the midpoint times the frequency, we add it all up. Luckily, I've done that on the calculator already. So we'd get 1,633. Now, as you know, to find the mean, you then need to divide by the number of people there are. And in this case, there are 33 people. So we divide by 33 and get 49.48. Always double check your answer to see if it makes sense. And in this case, it does make sense because it's right in the middle of this table. Third, a topic that many students are intimidated by, using interpolation. But if you follow along closely, and it does require some concentration, it's not that difficult. Estimate the median time to run 400 meters. Here's the formula, and it's written slightly differently to how maybe the book does it, but I find this helps me to remember how to do it. M, take away base, divided by group, and median, take away base, divided by group. By the way, this M stands for the median, so you might ask, why didn't you just write median over here like you did on the right? Well, this M I write as a letter because it's what we're looking for. That's going to be our answer, whereas this median we should know already. How would we know this median? Well, how do we find the median in general? You get the total of number of people, add 1, and divide by 2. So that's the first number that we can fill in in this formula. Notice there's six numbers that we're going to find out eventually. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. First one we can know straight away is the median. Add up the number of people, add 1, divide by 2. If you get a decimal, round it. So 17. So all of our focus is going to be on this 17th person, whoever they are. Now let's write the formula and one by one fill out the numbers. The M, we don't know, so we just write M. That's going to be our final answer. What about the base? What does the base mean? The base means the smallest number in the group. But which group? Which group do I look at? There's loads of different groups. To find out which group you look at, you need to find out where this 17th person is hiding. I know person 1 is in this group. That's kind of obvious. So let's just write that, person 1. Person 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 will be in this group. Because if you notice, there's 9 people in total so far, 1 plus 8. So 2 to 9 is in the second group. 9 plus 15 is 24. So that means person 10 all the way to 24 is in the third group. It's kind of like cumulative frequency. Remember though, we were looking for person 17, so let's stop there. Person 17 must be in this group. So all of our focus is now on this group, this row here. Now I can fill in the formula. Base. Base means the lowest point. So what's the lowest point of this time interval here, focusing on this row? Well, the lowest point, many people would say, is 48. But it would not be 48, it would actually be 47.5. Because whenever there's a gap between the two groups, so in this case 47 and 48, there's a gap of 1, you always go halfway. Because anything above 47.5 for example, 47.6, would round up into this group. So whenever there's a gap, go halfway. If this group ended in 48, then there'd be no gap. So we'd just be fine. The base is 48. But in this case, 
the base, which just means the lowest point, is 47.5. Notice I'm filling out the formula on the left, first of all, so I'm using this column. When we fill out the formula on the right, over here, we use the frequency column. And in a moment, I'll explain why this formula works, because I don't want you just to fill in numbers in a formula. I want you to kind of understand why it works. So, so far, we know that M is just M, and the base is 47.5. So M take away base. What about this group? What does the group mean? The group is how wide this group is. And you might think, looking at it, it's 2, isn't it? 48 to 50. No, it's not 2. Because remember, the smallest point is 47.5, and the biggest point is not 50, because there's a gap. So it would be 50.5. Don't forget that little trick. So the width is not actually 2, it's 3. A little secret, by the way. If there's a gap, the width is always just one more than what you think it is. So instead of being 2, it would be 3. So this group is 3 big. Right, we're done with the left-hand side. Now the right-hand side. The median was what we just worked out before, 17, the 17th person, so we write 17. The base is everything below that group. Remember, base means the lowest point. So everything below this group of 15 is going to be our base for the right-hand side. There were nine people below 15, so we write nine. Finally, how big is our group? That's kind of easy. Our group is 15 big. And now to quickly explain the formula. Why does it work? Well, on the right-hand side, we see how far into this group is our median. It's roughly, if we do 17 take away 9, it's 8. It's 8 far in to our group of 15, which is roughly halfway. So what the formula on the left does is go that same distance into this group. So our final answer is going to be roughly halfway into this group. And that's hopefully gives you a sense of why interpolation makes sense. From now on, though, it's just filling in the maths. 17 take away 9 is 8. And 8 divided by 15 is 0 0.53. What do we do next? How do we get rid of this divide by 3? To get rid of divide by 3, we times by 3. So I've times both sides by 3. And you get m, take away 47.5, is 1.599. Last step, almost there, we do 47.5 added to both sides. Notice we have a take away 47.5, so we need to add it to both sides. 1.59 added to 47.5 is 49.099. So 49.099 is our answer. We've estimated the median. And by the way, you, you notice it was roughly halfway into this group, just a bit above halfway, just like 8 is a bit above halfway of 15. And also notice it's very close to the mean, but a little bit different. So the median, using interpolation, is 49.099 seconds. And that's how we do interpolation.